Wild bison now roam near Fort Collins for the first time in about 100 years. A herd of 10 was released this afternoon in Soapstone Prairie. Denver 7 reporter Kyle Haran was there for this historic release. Deep in the grasslands north of Fort Collins, the bison are getting a second shot. I have worked for vet services um, for this group um, for 12 years now, and um, these animals were born on my watch, and so yes, I know them quite well, actually. What's been years in the making for veterinarian Pauline Knoll is the future of these animals, and so she brought the kids along. Although the bulls have way better hairdos. Than the cows do, right? Yeah. Although 50 has a pretty good one. Yeah. They get a front row seat while the rest of the crowd stands back a bit. It's quite nice. They're just pretty curious about all of the people. These nine cows and one young bull are about to move into their 1,000 acre home. You know, we're bringing bison back to the prairie so that they can play an important role in. Um, the health of the prairie and the way the ecosystem functions, but also to establish a herd that can donate its genetics to other herds that may need it. We're all very excited. This is great. We've been working towards this for a long time. After some stage fright, the bison are off, running through the prairie like they did for tens of thousands of years. Four of the cows are pregnant, and for the herd to continue, they'll need that kind of growth. Kyle Haran, Denver 7. A rollover crash.